It's time to understand that the headline of today, the mass media, are rooted in your Bible. Yeah. It's true. Yesterday's prophecy, today's headline. The best way, I want to tell you, to explain what's going on in this world now. You can see in your Bible, you can find the prophets that is in fulfilled in your Bible. I want to tell you the, the about the prophet Amos who warned the nation of Israel. Amos was a sheep keeper who shepherded his own flocks and tended the scum tree. He was not trained as a theologian or the priestly religious teacher. He was a common sense man of the field who had understood how life works at the, in the, in the most fundamental river. He understood. Amos Field got more than he field any man. He was the right man God could use to warn the nation of Israel. God said, you only have I chose of all the families of this earth. Amos 3, chapter 2. The nation, I want to tell you, the Israel, in all the times, the nation, God sent Amos to warn the people of Israel that Israel people should come to the Lord for faith, the false God. This God, Israel believed, they rejected, and turned from the God to start to begin to worship the idol. You know, this nation with whom God had a special history and relationship, Israel's forefather Abraham, was one to whom God made an unconditional promise of national prosperity and greatness. Because of this promise, God had a covenant with Abraham. God brought 
Israelites out of the Egyptian slavery under the Moses and set them in land of promise. Canada. Israel was the blessed by the Lord. Yes. This nation greatly was blessed by the Lord whom they had believed. God said, listen, listen, gentlemen, those promises included blessing for obedience. God said, you should do if you want to receive the God's blessing, if you turn away the face of God, you will not be blessed. You should keep my commandment. I will bless you. I'll pour out to your descendants. God promised his four nations, four father, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, who had covenant with God. But sadly, Israel did not keep God's commandment. They did not leave up its part of the agreement because Israel rejected God. Here is, I want to tell you, my point of this today's sermon. Watch this. Here is a parallel of America today. For, as you know, for more than two centuries, this country, America, has grown, explosively has been growing and growing to become the single greatest nation ever to exist in this world. Yeah. No doubt, everybody cries that America is the greatest country in this world even though it has a short history. Even today, with the America has with a severe internal problem, there are problems has been happened with every day. And the greatest challenges from the hostile nation which are North Korea and Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, even terrorists that threatened this country, attacking this country.
But this country remains world most influential power, strong power. God, I believe, God pour out it, every blessing in area to this country because this country had been found deed of the God's law. In spite of the, it's a lot of problem this country has faced in now. Still, this country has uh, affected all other nations in this world. And it's helping material and, and everything and supply to, to the, all the poor country. It is a big, big influence of a good in this troubled world that is uh, immense. You know, we, 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 we think about world without America would be a different and far more dangerous world, I believe. Because that's why this country is the policy of this, the world. Just as God used ancient to Israel as a counter to the other nations at that time. So today, America is an indispensable power used to, by God to advance his greater purpose and the prophetic plan for mankind. Yes. But Israel's prosperity caused it to forget the true source of its wealth. What's this? Listen to what I say. It's very, very important point I want to tell you. The history of the Israel that destroyed by another country like Assyria, Babylonia. You know, God, God, God wanted to call you about such a power Israel had received and wealth. But people of Israel forgot the God's blessing they had been received for time. Uh, I want to tell you, go back to the history, the times of Jeroboam Two. Okay, let's look closer at the nation of Israel. In 
about uh, 782 BC, the, the king Jeroboam II, he ruled all Israel. He was a strong leader who brought the renewed the power and the wealth to the nation. He restored all nations the board. He opened the trade route so that economy once again to tremendously grow and the wealth of the nation flowed into the nation. Israel began to prosper at that time with the, the global economy of the that day. Ships and the caravan carried the goods from the Africa to Asia throughout the Mediterranean Sea. It was an ancient period of globalization. Yes. But Israel was arrogant, the proud. They had the wealth. They didn't think about the source of God, whom God pulled this blessing to the people of Israel. Paganism play, replaced the truth of God. The new religion hid Israel's identity as a God's special covenant to people. The true God was hidden from the people of Israel. Let me tell you, the same situation exists in America today. Oh my God, yes. Uh, can I tell you about America more? <coughs> the same situation that Israel had been down and worship other God. exist in America today. That's what I'm saying now. While America experienced, you know, a tremendously prosperity and freedom, God Wow, this blessing to America. But people of America failed to understand the true source of each blessing, like people of Israel. American people think that their wisdom and uh, <clears throat> ingenuity have achieved greatness in this country. Yeah. the truth, the United 
teacher, this country has received its wealth and power from God. From all wealth, power is coming from the God whom their forefather believed. God's blessing. And I want to tell you, the promise of God is going to blessing this country they've been receiving all blessing from the God he made to the patriarch Abraham of Israel yeah. We should know. People of America should know. Amos message applies today to the United States, British, Australia, Canada, and uh, other English-speaking countries, this world, who have sprung from the common ancestors. Those countries I've told Their forefather are a patriarch of Abraham of Israel. They are those nation are descendants of Abraham. God had promised to him. Come on out. I will bless who bless you. I'll curse you. Who curse you? Genesis 12, chapter 3. Notice what a prophet of God might say today to the new American president, Donald Trump. I, I, I think, I it. You are coming into the office at the most critical moment. Yes, we see, we feel it. In America history now, we feel it. America's position in the world face the greatest challenge since the end of the World War II. The nation's enemy are at the gate. Yeah, like North Korea, Ida has threatened this country now by the 
nuclear weapon, ice beer. Ah, the security and the prosperity of this nation and the maintenance of the current world current world order yes are at to this stake now at stake situation of this world is very very dangerous toward going to end of the world as Bible prophesied. All right. Choice is yours as to which way and the nation will go. No doubt there would be admonishment to turn to God. This country, America, back to God to worship Him. Bible says, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, my people who are called by my name will be humbled themselves, pray and repent, and turn from their wicked ways. I will hear pray of them, and I will forgive them, I will heal their land. Right now, I hope, you are asking yourself some critical question. What can you do? Einstein speaking, you are not going to change the course of this world, yeah? this nation and God's plan for the nation. But I want to say, remember, you can let what you see stir you to passion to God and His way. You can do as Amos warned his people to grieve the ruin of the nation. You can also make an intercession prayer to God for America. That I want to say. Amos did this It's time, I want to say, it's my fork. It's time that this nation humbles itself in deep and heartfelt repentance. Unlike anything that has ever been seen. America as a world power needs a great awakening of a historic revival. We stand in the pivotal moment of opportunity. Yes. It's up to you to allow the warning to make a difference in your life, I believe. 
Make the right choice. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Notice, though. I want to. I, I want to just as a conclusion. Notice that when God foretold a plague on the nation Israel, Amos begged, Oh, sovereign Lord, stop. How can Jacob, Israel, survive? He's so small. Huh? Amos 7 2. What happened? God relented. Again, God said, You to bring the of fire to scourge this land. Penalty. Amos pleaded again to God. Oh, sovereign Lord, I beg you, I beg you, stop this penalty, this nation. How can Jacob survive? He's a small, small, very small. Help me. Give me grace. Why would God do this? Because he doesn't hear the prayer of righteous hmm? like you. Huh? So we can learn of the, the Amos prayer to God. Yes, we should pray to the Lord for this country like Amos. Hallelujah. God, God will listen the man who had faithful, faithful prayer to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. God will hear you that you are praying to yourself, to the destination. Thank you. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, give him glory. God will walk you. God is listening, God is listening for your prayer. Thank you, Lord. Bye-bye. Hallelujah.